Chris. It's good to see you. Chris? Mom. <coughs> <laughs> Long time no see. I was beginning to think you weren't coming. No more freebies, Red. You want the supplies? You need to put aside your difference with Phillips. Yeah, I'm done playing soldiers for him. You should be too. Left 4 Dead is a fantastic game that took the zombie shooter subgenre and pretty much perfected it. But you know Valve, right? Y you know them. They don't like making threes. So I thought Back for Blood was the next best thing to a new Left 4 Dead game. So I was really excited. It was being developed by Turtle Rock Studios and even had the number 4 instead of the word 4. Well, let's get into it. Hi guys, DPX here, reviewing today, Back for Blood. Now before we get started, you know what to do, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and leave a comment, or I'll become a zombie, and I'll eat your brains. So to avoid you dying, and me becoming a zombie, because I don't want to be a zombie, alright? Just subscribe to the channel. This is General Phillips, commanding officer at the Free Settlement of Fort Hope. If you can make your way to Finleyville, do it, but do it fast. We need to stop I will say that the core gameplay for Back for Blood feels pretty nice. It's tight and smooth, and it feels rather good when you manage to kill a zombie. However, it could get a little repetitive. You'll be on a map for quite a bit, and what it mostly comes down to is shoot a horde of zombies, proceed through the map, shoot another horde of zombies proceed through the map again maybe a big zombie will come by shoot him proceed through the map yet again rinse or repeat there are also different weapons you can pick up whether it be many different types of guns a machete an axe gasoline or dynamite which when it comes to the last two not quite sure why you'd ever want to use those if you have a gun the core gameplay and overall feel of the game is nice though In Back for Blood, you are at the center of a war against the Ridden. The Ridden are these once human hosts of a deadly parasite that have turned into terrifying creatures, i.e. zombies, who are set on devouring what remains of civilization. It's a standard zombie plot, and I'm not knocking it, as it's fine. There are also multiple characters in the game that you can play as, like Walker, Evangelo, Holly, and Mom, and later you get Doc, Carly, Jim, and Hoffman. There are also supposed to be more characters to be added later on, but if I'm being honest, I really don't see much of a difference here. Each character is just another character, and they don't really play any differently, so yeah. This is the segment where I touch on other stuff that are worth mentioning, but not much to say on. The music isn't really anything too memorable, nothing too bad, but like, nothing too memorable still. And the game visually looks fine, but often I'll see one of my teammates sort of just glitching out, and other times if I get hit by a strong attack from a zombie, the game will cut to a third person view for a split second and then go back to first person which is very weird not only that but there were many times where I tried to find players to play around with and it took very long to find players that's not necessarily the game's fault but it's worth noting however my biggest issue with this game is that when it comes to the content it is very bare bones and I get that it's a live service game and I don't like those usually as they like to put out a game half-baked and then add in more content later on after charging you $60 for it. But this is a spiritual successor to Left 4 Dead, a game that did the whole live service thing very well. I was really confident that Back for Blood would be a polished game with enough content and expand even further after launch but nope the game is mostly polished obviously the th things i mentioned were just simple bugs 
I'll give it that, alright? But once you do the single player campaign and just play a handful of multiplayer, you basically seen everything this game has to offer and I wouldn't have much of an issue with that if the game wasn't $60. I get that it's free on Game Pass, but that's just on Game Pass. If this game was $40, maybe the amount of content would be passable. But as it stands, Back for Blood is a fun game for maybe a day or two, and then you've seen everything. In conclusion, while running around maps, killing zombies is always fun, there is only so much of that you can do until you realize that that is basically all you can do. I mean, yeah, that's the point of the game, but there's it just gets old pretty fast if you don't have anything else to do content-wise. I feel like there is a good game somewhere here, but we'll probably see it long after I stop caring. And that sucks because I was fairly confident that Turtle Rock Studios would be able to make this game as fun as Left 4 Dead. When I had fun, I really had fun. But this game either needs more meat on the bones or not be $60. In the end, I give Back for Blood a 6 out of 10. So yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed by Back for Blood. I was really looking forward to this. So yeah, I don't think this game is worth $60. Maybe. 30 or 40 or if it's on game pass i do suggest you download it if it's on if you have xbox and you have game pass because you know playing a few rounds is pretty fun but other than that there's not much here really but anyways back for blood what do you guys think do you agree with me do you not agree, agree with me do you like the game do you not like the game do you have the game do you not have the game and if you ha don't have the game do you want to get it do you not want to get it let me know down below anything about the game Anyways, you check this for this, don't subscribe, or I'll become a zombie and eat your brains. Bye!